there's no need to be a naked high level ranger any longer as finally there's some brand new gear coming to runescape that's just for you Behind the scenes finds out more about the new Ranger armor and discovers just what it's going to take to put Lumbridge back together again. The Ranger armor was a great project. We wanted to do something a little bit different this time around. Trying to stay clear from the usual kind of plate mail and leather armor we've done in the past and making something a bit more unique. So we were given a fairly simple design brief. We knew it needed to be high level ranged armor and this really opened the door to do something a bit more special with this player kit. We started off with reference gathering and that can come from anywhere. The internet, books, comic books, taking a picture on your iPhone and bringing it to work. We'll pick out our favorite elements from these images and start combining them together into something we kind of feel is cool. We take those and do overpaints on them and kind of try and work it into something kind of coherent which is relevant to the quest we're working on. The initial concept was created pretty quickly. We only really iterated on some of the finer points and refining the silhouette of the player kit. We were kind of worried at first that it was getting a little bit kind of otherworldly but the more we sat with it, the more we liked it. We gathered the designers and the, uh, the models together to make sure they were happy with what we come up with. And from there, we start making very, very simple models, putting in the game, making sure the silhouettes work and the composition of the level flows nicely. Once we're happy with that, we start adding flesh to the bones. We start adding more and more detailed models, start adding textures and putting down lights until everyone's happy. It's my job really to work with the design leads and the art leads and trying to produce the, the best quality art we can within the very tight schedule we have on RuneScape. We're pushing out a lot of graphics into the game world and it's, uh, it's really important the stuff is delivered on time, on schedule and looks really, really good. Another piece of content we've been working on this month is the Lumbridge Rebuildathon. The Rebuildathon is just like everybody coming together to do this, to rebuild Lumbridge and fix it. Let's show the gods what's what. The whole event is a couple of weeks. The more people play together, the more likely the houses are likely to actually be rebuilt in those 14 days. Unlike most holiday events, this is actually permanent. The changes that you see and we make happen will actually remain here forever, well, until some other god comes and... I think it's going to be really interesting to see the world change little by little as the contribution builds. You know, the God camps are going to get dismantled bit by bit and the buildings are just going to rise off the ground and then once they're there, they're there to stay. We are setting up a memorial to be built just on the day of RuneFest. Players at RuneFest will be able to find codes by doing small activities at RuneFest which will give them contribution towards that memorial. But we will also need everybody else, every other player in the entire world to go and focus on the memorial because they've only got one day to build it and if they don't build it in that day it just doesn't get finished and we do want it finished because it's gonna look awesome well I think so and we can do this together mobilize next week we're holding our first behind the scenes Q&A with Mod Mark if there's something you want to know about any of October's updates let us be your conduit to enlightenment